So let's take a look at page numbering when we have multiple sections. So the first thing that we want to do is see how many sections are in this document. So if we click on the header and the footer, and we scroll down, we see we have footer section one and header section two. Okay, so this first page is in a section by itself. Let's scroll down and take a look at the footers and the headers and see just how many sections are in this document. And we're going to notice that there are just two sections. That's great. So now we need to deal with page numbers in section one and section two. So let's scroll back up to section one. And we are going to highlight the footer section one number and we're going to come up here to page number and we're going to say at current position and go to plain plain text after that we are going to come back up here to page number we'll highlight that i'm sorry we're going to come up to page number and format page number and we are going to click on start at because we don't want it to start at page one necessarily and put in the page where we want this to start and then we'll click OK. Now when I scroll down, I'm going to notice that the page number on footer section 2 didn't change because these are separate sections. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to highlight this page number. And I'm going to go to page number, current position, and in this case I just want plain text. Looks like someone put a return or something in there, so I'm going to delete that return. And then I'll come back up here after highlighting it, go to format page number. And this one I would want to start on 36 because my first page started at 35. And I'm going to click OK. And now I should see my section one has page 35, my section two. Oh, it said 37 it must have been set to start on something else but that's easy click on it come back up here format page numbers because it was picking up from the previous section so here's our first section 35 36 37 38 39 and 40 now, if I found that there was actually a third section in here or something and I didn't want that, I would come, double click into my text and if I click on this paragraph symbol here, which would show me where my section breaks are, and I would put my cursor in front of the section break that I didn't want. So if this were the section break I didn't want, I would click in front of that and hit the delete key and it eliminates that break. Control Z, it's my, always my happy friend, and it will undo whatever you just did. So anyway, that's how you would do your page numbers.